Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Zoom, the video conferencing uh, application, to not only make breakout rooms, but how to make ghosts or copies of your uh, account so that you can observe multiple breakout rooms at once. This uh, video is geared towards instructors who want to be able to monitor multiple breakout rooms simultaneously. Uh, there is a limit, to probably, to how many you can do, but uh, I'm guessing most instructors may be using anywhere between two to perhaps uh, six, maybe even eight breakout rooms at once. So this will be targeted towards you guys. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and join your uh, Zoom session before your class time. And I've already done that, as you can see here. I'm the only one in there as the host. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and minimize your uh, Zoom uh, window. And you'll notice that I've already prepared a few things in the background here. So right here on the top left, I'm using the Google Chrome browser. And on the right side, I'm using the incognito version of the Chrome browser. And if you're unaware of how to open up the incognito version, all you have to do is go to the three dots here and click here, new incognito window, or you can just simply press control shift N or command shift N on Mac. Uh, down here, I have the Firefox browser, same, this is the normal version. And on the right, I have the incognito version, the private version. And again, if you go to the three lines, you can find it right up here. Okay, so this is the setup if you want to have, for example, four uh, ghost accounts as well. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go ahead to the URL and type in zoom.us slash join. You can go ahead and copy this. Uh, you can hit enter on this one and then paste in it here, over here, and down here, just to do everything simultaneously. Next, you want to put in the meeting ID that you want to have the ghost accounts in. So for example, uh, I'll be putting in my uh, Zoom meeting ID here as well. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste, 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 and I'm going to click join. Now, when you join, it usually gives you this little pop-up window at the beginning, at the top. What you don't want to do is open a Zoom meeting because you're technically already in there. What you want to do is press cancel. Okay. And if you notice, nothing happens. So let's try again. Click here. And then now we're going to cancel once more. And you might notice right here, if you cannot download or run the application, join from your browser. And this is what you want. You want to join from your browser instead. So you can put whatever name you want to put. Let's just put ghost1 and you have to uh, make sure you're not a robot. So let's go ahead and play this simple game. I think those are the bridges. All right, and click join. And you have to put in the password as well. It's a little tedious, I know, but it doesn't take too much time. And then here we go, we are in the place. Um, first, I advise you not to join audio yet or else you're gonna start hearing an echo. So go ahead and just X that out. If we click participants here, we can see that there is the original host and then ghost one, which is me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all four and I'll be right back. Uh, I wanna go ahead and show you guys Firefox as well because it looks a little bit different than how Chrome uh, starts up the meeting. So go ahead and click join. You'll first get this window over here. Just go ahead and click cancel. And then next what you want to do is press the download and run zoom button. And then you'll get a different pop-up window. Press cancel again. And sometimes it takes a third try depending on how much time you uh, wait in between. And then there we go, we get the link down there. So if you just keep pressing cancel a couple times, um, you'll eventually get this join from browser. And then the rest of the steps are the same. All right, I just got my fourth account logged in down here. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring our main uh, host hosted Zoom session open. So as we can see on the right participants panel, we have ghost one, ghost two, ghost three, ghost four. Now, of course, they're not ghosts. Um, the other people in the Zoom meeting can, of course, see these accounts, so they're not invisible. Uh, 
But now what you can do at this point is once you maybe finish your lecture or talk and you're ready to break the students into multiple breakout sessions, go ahead and click on breakout rooms, assign the number of rooms you want. Uh, I'm going to be doing it manually in this case. Create your rooms, then go ahead and assign ghost one, ghost two, ghost three, ghost four, and whoever else you want to be in there. So go ahead and open up the rooms. Great. So if I go ahead and minimize this, you can see that I have to join uh, here. You can also have this automatic. It doesn't have to ask the participants to join. That's your choice, of course. And then I go here. Um, now, as you can see, I'm the only participant in uh, breakout room one and two, three, and four. And here we go. You have a uh, copy of your account in each of them. So in this way, you can monitor it. Now at the moment, you can't hear what's being discussed in each breakout room. So what you'll need to do is, of course, join the audio. Um, so you can go ahead and join by your computer. And there you go. Uh, you might have to allow, of course, the browser, if it's your first time doing this, to join as well. And of course, you can also do video. Um, you can only have one video activated at one time. You can't be showing your video in uh, multiple breakout rooms. However, you can activate your mic in every single breakout room and speak to everyone at once. That is possible. Um, then again, if you do have your mic and speakers activated for each breakout room, you'll be hearing a lot of noise as well. So if you want to only hear the noise from certain rooms, I suggest either um, going back to the options here and leave computer audio or switching the device which the audio is coming through. So if you're using headphones and speakers, uh, you can mute one or the other by turning it off. So you have to find what works best for you in that case. But anyway, this is the quick tutorial on how to uh, join multiple breakout rooms as an instructor uh, for you know, purposes of you know, monitoring your students. Also, one more thing I want to add is that I have tried using only one browser window, such as the Chrome or Firefox browser, and I did four tabs, uh, with each tab being one ghost account. And I found that no matter what uh, application I used, it wouldn't work when I assigned the ghost accounts into the breakout rooms. It would somehow duplicate itself, and it would turn out that they would remain in the uh, main session while putting a real ghost into the uh, breakout session, which didn't work at all. So I found that the only stable way to make this work was using one separate window type per ghost account, hence the incognito or private versions of each browser. Um, I've had success so far with uh, Chrome, Firefox, and the Brave browser. I have not tried with uh, Safari or uh, Microsoft Edge yet, but I believe it should work uh, with those as well. All right. That's it. I hope this video is helpful and thank you so much. Bye-bye.